Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so glad you're here today because you are going to love these cards. This is a really unique idea. Um, I'm not sure what I'm calling it other than a diagonal split card. Do you see the little? It's so fun, so easy. This one, super fun with that glimmer paper. You know, we're always looking to add some bling. So we are going to create both these cards today. And uh, let's go ahead and bring my friends on. Um, so things are a little, little different today. So we've got Brenda here. Christina is out of town. And so, but she wanted to make sure that everything is working over on Facebook. So Brenda is over on YouTube. Christina is over on Facebook. Um, she's probably not going to be able to chat mm -hmm. on Facebook today, but uh, she just wants to make sure that everything's working. So yeah, all we get is her, her little picture right there. Um, so welcome everybody. I'm so glad that you are going to uh, be here for today's live. It's going to be a great time. So before we get into stuff, I always like to give my little disclaimer. This is a live video. And when we are live, we're a little bit more chatty, uh, a little more relaxed. You guys know I do like to um, keep my video short and sweet. But when I'm live, this is really more about um, friendship, community, being together, um, reading your comments and things like that. So if you are here for the stamping, hey, I get you. Do me a favor. When this live is over, if you're watching um, the replay, just scroll forward until you see my hands. When you see my hands, that's when we're going to get started with um, the stamping. But we like to have a little time chatting with our friends and talking about what's up for the past week. So I was telling Brenda before we started, I'm doing something new. <laughs> so I see these commercials for mm -hmm. Fresh Pet and the Farmer's Dog, and they just made me feel really guilty about the food I'm feeding my dogs. <laughs> but the the programs with this free delivery and all, oh man, that was some expensive dog foods. I mean, I love my dogs, but that's some expensive stuff, especially when you have two dogs. So I decided to make my own dog food. <laughs> hey, now listen, the first time mm -hmm. I made, the dogs loved it. They scarfed it down. I mean, they they thoroughly enjoyed it. It was like people food. So they, they were really happy. So um, I finished the batch that I made. We finished it off last night. And so this morning, it's funny because I'll feed them in the morning and then I feed them while we're eating dinner. And normally we just leave the dog food out and they eat when they're hungry. But, you know, <laughs> this, obviously it's fresh. I'm not going to leave it just sitting out. <laughs> this morning, the dogs were so funny because, you know, I get up and I'm making my coffee and they're like, <laughs> Mom, where here's is my food? Here, well, here's an ice cube. One. I would give them an ice cube. <laughs> I could give them. My dogs love ice cubes. They get excited over the ice cubes. And <laughs> anyway, so mm -hmm. this batch, it's a little bit different. I'm making a different, different recipe. <laughs> but it goes in the crock pot. So kind of a fix it and forget it, which I kind of like. Um, and this one's got some other veggies and stuff in it. And so, but you know, it's in the crock pot. So it's going to take like four hours. And every time I go over, I do have to go over and stir it because I didn't break up the meat very well. So I know you're not supposed to open a crock pot, but I did. Anyway, they're like, <laughs> they're so mad. Like, where is our food? What is this dry stuff you expect us to eat? So That's anyway, weird. having great yeah. success with the fresh dog food and Christina's dog, Chewy, She's an old girl and she's only got like, I don't know, maybe three teeth left in her little mouth. So she has to eat very soft food too. And so, yeah, that's kind of the other thing that got us started was Christina's dog because she eats the little Caesars, you know, the little, um, and I thought this might be a little bit more affordable for Christina to be able to just make up a batch of dog food. And she, uh, she ate some of ours the other day. She loved it. She, she scarfed it down too. So there we go. That's what we yeah, There are all kinds of uh, suggestions here. Pumpkin, oh. and broccoli, and... Yep. My dog well, likes sweet potato. I heard broccoli. Uh, pumpkin, broccoli. Pumpkin. Um, some dogs eat apples. 
Yeah, my dog, my dog eats sweet, sweet potato. My my granddaughter makes sweet potato fries and then dehydrates them for my dog. I don't do this, but she does. And um, Gracie also eats apples, but. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. So um, on the pumpkin. And watermelon. Oh, my gosh. Roxy. Well, when watermelon comes in season, oh, Roxy knows watermelon. I mean, she loves watermelon. Yeah. Um, didn't you tell me that you let your dog eat the watermelon rind? She'll chew on it. She'll just chew, chew on it. Well, yeah, that's I should say. She chews on it. Yeah. So I thought about doing that for Roxy. I wonder what she would do because she, I mean, the dog loves watermelon. Um, but yeah, I had also read the pumpkin. You can put a can of pureed pumpkin in um, with the dog food as well. Um, I had to laugh because it also called for um, a couple teaspoons of dried rosemary. <laughs> so I guess it has to taste good. <laughs> That's funny. But here's the thing. I mean, even that first batch, I tasted it because it was just rice and ground turkey and veggies. And I think that was it in the first batch. This one has spinach and mixed vegetables and the brown rice and the ground turkey. I think I'm forgetting something. Anyway. Um, oh, the sweet potatoes. That's right. That's what the other one was. So. Yeah, I might have to try the ground or the canned pureed pumpkin. So, because I think they would be all over that instead of the sweet potatoes. And it's good for their tummies. It so. is. It yeah. is. So, yeah, yeah, that's that's what we've been doing around here. Well, yeah. now that you've gotten an update on my dog's diet. <laughs> because you felt guilty. <laughs> because I felt guilty for how dare I be the pet owner who feeds my dog dry dog food. <laughs> Oh, that would be I'll nice. tell you, it literally three days. That that's I made enough for three days, and already they're like, "Mother, please, may we have some fresh dog food?" I mean, they're already spoiled. Three days. Anyway, all right, shall we stamp? <laughs> yes, let's make cards. Let's make some cards. Okay. <laughs> so yes, that is what's happening in the Stewart House. Gotta love that. All right, so um, we're gonna create these diagonal cards. Who thinks it looks hard? Raise your hands if you do. Good. Because we're going to show you it's so easy. So, so easy. We're going to start with this one here. And uh, you guys know I always provide you with the diagram or the diagrams. This one doesn't have a diagram, but uh, it does have the photos, the measurements, uh, the supply list. There's a visual of the supply list. It's all there for you. If you need to come back and watch the video, you can click there. But in the measurements, these measurements are really important, okay? Because it's a very different measurement, all right? So let's go ahead and jump in here. And when I said the measurements are important, this is why. This is a four and a quarter by 10 and a quarter, basic white thick. So can you see? We have three quarters of an inch cut off of that. Um, now, save that because we're going to use it, but um, I just wanted to make sure you were very aware of how that is cut. All right. So to make the diagonal cut that I know you think we're going to have to make tick marks and measure things. No, we're going to just stick it in our paper trimmer. OK, there is no right or wrong. The only thing you probably don't come all the way up, but just kind of stick it in there at an angle and that's it. Okay, there's no measuring, there's no let's get everything perfect. No, just just cut that easy. Okay, so um, what I want to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping. And <clears throat> I'm going to use around the bin, the stamp set around the bin. Around the bin is going to be retiring at the end of the month. So let me tell you, I love this stamp set. I highly recommend you uh, see if you can grab it. But the other thing I want to tell you is we're going to use the around the bend dies, which are not retiring. Okay. So these really are kind of standalone dies. I think you can see that. We're really just going to be using this flower and this one for the, the middle of the flower. So uh, if you didn't have that set, I want you to use what you've got. But I'm going to bring in a lemon lime twist ink pad. Um, oh, Red Arrow Tinker says you've guilted me into looking for dog food recipes. I'll tell you what, I will see about getting my recipe that um, I'm using and 
see about posting that in a Facebook post. How about that? <laughs> All right. I'm going to stamp in the lemon lime twist here in the corners of the inside of my card. And oops, I just know I'm going to end up landing the corner of that in an ink pad. Okay. So this piece, you can see how it's going to go right here. Real quick, Connie, we yeah. have someone asking, where do you buy your magnetic sheets? Um, you know, this last time I got them on Amazon, um, but I just get them at, um, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's. They are where, look for where they keep vents, okay? And they're magnetic vent covers. And yeah, I just cut them in half. Um, and they're great. I do love them. Um, and of course, I just kind of keep reusing them all the time. So yeah, excellent question. All right, so can you see what we did there? We just stamped the inside, we stamped the outside. All right, I'm gonna bring in um, two pieces here. I'm gonna move that card out of the way. So I've got a piece of Melon Mambo, three and a half by three and a half, and a piece of Basic White. This is a two and a half by two and a half, okay? And what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my um, stylish shape size. Use whatever you have. And listen, if you didn't have circles, these could be squares. I could use it just like that. I'm going to take the largest die and I'm going to die cut from my Melon Mambo. Hey, I'm Connie. Gonna, yeah. Lisa and, Edwards just said this is the best day of her week. Oh, uh, that, thank you, Lisa. You made my day. Thank you. You guys are the best. Well, listen, what I did here is I just skipped. I skipped a die, okay? So we are going to run those through our die cutting machine. And through the magic of television, I have those die cut for you, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do um, the stamping on my sentiment. And in this stamp set, um, we have a just wanted to say thanks. I'm just so happy for you. You're a blessing and hello there. I'm going to do this hello there. I just thought it was a, it's such a whimsical card, the hello there. And it's kind of a whimsical stamp as well. And I'm just going to stamp that right there in. I'm kind of a little off to the left side or the right side. Connie does know her right from her left, I promise. Um, a little bit over to the right. And let's go ahead. You know what? I'm going to add this here in just a second. Let me go ahead and show you how this is going to go onto our card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little adhesive here. And I'm just going to be lining this up and a little adhesive here. Line these two up. It's not terribly difficult. Just like that, you're going to take that circle, and that's it. Oh, gosh, Connie. What? Nancy Clark just said, why is it when I say, by the magic of TV, <laughs> nothing happens? <laughs> what? I, you know, where's the magic, right? I know. Oh, Nancy, you kill me. That's hilarious. It's so true. Yeah. All right, Nancy. Thank you for the giggle. <laughs> All right. So I got some adhesive here on my hello there. This is why I thought I better wait and put this on afterwards because I didn't want to be fighting with making sure it's straight. So I'm going uh, just, you know, a little, again, a little bit over here to the right side. All right. Now we're going to do a little more die cutting. And yeah, there's going to be some more magical television. Uh, let me grab my around the bend die. So we're going to take this flower and this little center of the flower. And I got a piece of bubble bath cardstock. And this is a three by five. You could also, this would be great to start using up some of those scraps that you have. And somewhere, somewhere, I can't find it, but you know what? I'll just bring in this. But it was the piece that we cut off here. You're going to use that and you're going to die cut um, six of these little white centers and six flowers. Okay. You're going to be able to get six flowers out of that one. All right. And through the magic television, um, I have 
those cut and just show you this one here. I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to do this with multi-purpose glue, but I'm just going to give myself just a little bit of glue right there. And let's see. Yep, I need that right side up. I'll use my little putty end. I'm kind of starting to fall in love with the putty end of my take your pick tool. Anybody else? <laughs> so, whoops. Well, until you go and you scooch it right across. All right. Good, good, good. So we have all of our flowers die cut. Now to add them to the card, I've got two of them I've got Stampin' Dimensionals on, okay? Let me go ahead and peel off my backings. And I just, there was something about this color combination. I loved the, um, the bubble bath with the melon mambo and that lemon lime twist. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use some more multi-purpose glue. How about that, my friends? Let's see. Oh, Cindy says she uses the putty all the time. You know, I don't know why I haven't, but it sure is. I'm kind of starting to understand the thrill of that one. You know how we are, Cindy. We just kind of use stuff and we kind of forget. Like, oh, that's really great. So I'm going to take one Stampin' Dimensional flower, put it right there. All right. And by the way, if you wanted the center of your flowers to be a different color, you could change that up. Now, this is this is the fun part where you get to be creative. You could make all these uh, different colors, um, especially remember, it's a great way to use scraps. Love that. So my last one with the stamp and dimensional can go right there. And then I wanted to bring in these um, adhesive. What are these called? Adhesive iridescent adhesive backed discs. Boy, that's a mouthful. And we're going to grab a couple of these. By the way, they, they're they so shiny. And they're super flat, by the way. I don't know if you guys have these. Um, and I'll get one of the pink ones because it's going to go so well with my pink flowers. And a couple of these melon mamba ones down here. And my friends, that is how we make a really fantastic diagonal split card. Easy, easy, right? Okay, I hope that you guys like that one. Let's go ahead and create one more. And this one, super fun because it's already got plenty of shimmer. So um, got a little love and big hugs there on the inside. I've got some tips for this one. So on this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Let me grab some scratch paper. So this is the, the short end. I'm going to call this the four and three quarter. Okay. So um, you can see where we've cut that. I'm going to bring in a Melon Mambo ink pad. Oh, you guys are liking the card. I am so glad. Well, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take, there's a little set of flowers. Oh, I should tell you what stamp set we're using. We're going to use the Sending Smiles stamp set, and we'll also be using um, the matching dies. All right. So this one, we are going to use the dies. And um, this is that little cluster of flowers right there. Here we go. What I'm going to do, and this will take me a while, so I'm going to try to read some comments while I stamp. We are going to stamp these flowers all over this four and three quarter inch section. I guess the magic of television failed me. I should have done so, it. Yeah, so Connie, we've been discussing the magic of television. Oh, okay. And how, wouldn't it be nice to just twitch our noses and our houses would be clean. Right, Yeah. and do a little bewitched action. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> our stamping done so much, so much faster, but I don't you know, know. Nobody, 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 <clears throat> nobody, mentioned, nobody mentioned the, the stamping. They mentioned cleaning their houses. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, not the stamping part. <laughs> and cooking dog food, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is going to take me a little while. But let's see what you guys are saying. Oh, Jeannie says she loves the color. You know what? I think since I began with Stampin' Up, Melon Mambo has been my favorite color. Um, way back in the day, uh, this was a color of my, my website. 
I was all about the pink and black and white and polka dots. Of course, I'm still all about the polka dots and still all about the retro. Okay, so I've got that done. And um, let's go ahead. We're going to do our trim again. And you remember what I said. You just, you know, let me make sure I like to keep my card there so you know what we're making. Just slide it into your paper trimmer, the side out, stick it in there. There's no right or wrong, and cut, okay? No right or wrong. No tick marks, no nothing. Okay, I have got a piece of lemon lime twist. Let's see, this one is a three by four and a quarter. Let me get that one more good crease. And for this one, I think I'm going to put my adhesive here on the lemon lime twist. I'm going to go across the top and then just a little bit on the sides because, you know, we've got this opening and I don't want any adhesive to be there. Get that lined up. Isn't this just, it's such a unique card. So much fun. Oops. I slid. Don't slide. All right. Trying to hold that piece in place. And all right, that did not work. Let's try it one more time, my friends. You know what I think I'm going to do? Watch this. This is going to be so much easier. Why didn't I think of this before? One. Oh my gosh. It's like I said, so funny when you kind of get to doing these things, you go, oh, why didn't I think of that before? I'm sure you guys go through the same thing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so much easier. All right. We've got that. This glimmer paper. Oh, I could just wear that. I'm telling you. This is from the three color glimmer paper collection. It's very purpley. And it, again, that lemon lime twist. Look at those fantastic colors. So pretty. Okay. You ready to have some fun? Uh, well, real quick, I just realized I didn't finish stamping. So let's go. We're going to go ahead and stamp the inside of the card. I'm going to bring that Melon Mambo back in one more time because I wasn't thinking. I'm going to stamp some flowers here on one side. Let's do it again up here. And now we're going to go ahead and get our sentiments stamped. So you can see this one says, a card to say hello. I've got a little strip of some basic white um, that is a one half by three inches. And on that one, we're going to stamp a card to say hello. Okay, card to say hello. And then on the inside, I'm going to say love and big hugs. I gotta tell you, sometimes with these little thin sentiments, I really have a hard time getting them straight. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stamp it at an angle because it goes with my card, right? I mean, it's at an angle, so why not stamp your sentiment at an angle? Sure, let's do that. Oh, I don't think I gave you the measurement on this basic white. This is um, a four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna add this here to the inside of the card. That gives that nice little burst of white. All right. Now we're going to do the magic here. Okay. Let me show you what we've got. I have got a piece of lemon lime twist and melon mambo. They're the same size. These are a one and three quarter by four. This is adhesive sheet. One of my favorite tools in the Stampin' Up! catalog. This is also one and three quarters by four. <clears throat> I'm going to adhere this to the Melon Mambo. So let me find the opening. You know what? Where's my, where's my take your pick tool? We will just, boy, there was no magic of television there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, you're going to, you're going to easily feel which is the sticky end and which is not. I'm going to just peel it back. And so on the unsticked side right now, I think that's a word, I'm going to lay that down. I'm trying to hold my tongue just right. Okay, there we go. Now I can come along and I can just grab this. 
that ensures I get it on there straight because sometimes I'm not really great about straight. Now we're going to bring in our dies and the big thick word sending. Oh, that's going to go right there. No adhesive on that one. And then I have the word sending, which is um, the detailed one. And we're going to die cut that. All right. Through the magic of television. <laughs> well, I was afraid there'd be too much um, stamping and, and working and I wouldn't be able to get it done. So I have already die cut my word sending. Now, one quick tip. There is, oh, somebody remind me what the dot is on the eye because I never remember. I, before I do anything, I'm going to get my eye and peel off. It's really little. And here's the thing. If you don't manage to save this, you could always use an iridescent uh, disc. So don't stress if you don't save it, but I'm going to try. Yep, there we go. So before I pull it out of the die, I want to go ahead and get my the dot on my eye. I know it has a word, but I never remember it. Um, I'm going to grab my word, and I want to show you something. When you go to pull this out, see how I've got some left there in my die? Sometimes I'll take the time, and I'm trying to get all these little pieces out. No, most of the time, you really don't have to, because once you peel the adhesive sheet away, Let's see if the magic will work for me. Yep, see how it just pulls all those little extra pieces out? Yeah, so you don't even have to really sit there and mess with them. And I wanted you to see, so I'm only gonna, I'm gonna start with the S. In fact, let me kind of zoom in so you guys can see this. And the adhesive sheet is very forgiving. So I'm just gonna start with my S and you can just come in here. I'm kind of sticking to it a little bit, but like, okay, so my N, it's a little bit, yep, I just need to lift it. See, when I say it's forgiving, it really is forgiving. Um, mm -hmm. I feel it's important to let you know, several people have told us the dot on the I is called a tittle. Tittle, I knew it was a really unique little word. A tittle. A tittle. I feel like I need to say it with an accent. <laughs> All right, I'm going to zoom back out now. Um, so that is how we're going to create a really amazing word sending. All right. So to attach that to our card, I'm going to bring my card back in. And doo -doo 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 -doo. again, I decided to go ahead and have one of these ready to go. All right. I've got stamp and dimensionals all over it. Now, I had to use some large or some standard Stampin' Dimensionals and then some minis. Okay, so be aware you're going to need some minis there. We're going to add that. And then I've got dimensionals on my a card to say hello. You're going to tuck that right inside there. And we have a really fun, shimmery, really super fun card right so let me bring in my first one diagonal split cards not difficult at all i know that you guys can do this one and um, i hope that you're going to give this one a try just remember the measurements are 10 and a quarter by four and a quarter that part is important okay well really quickly we're running out of time i want to show you the cards we're going to create next week because we're going to do a very very fast one sheet wonder super fast. When Brenda was here visiting, she and I created some cards for uh, the video for the live next week. And we just wanted some super fast, um, super quick cards. We all need those on hand. These would also make a really great gift if you wanted to um, share them as a gift. You could put these in a cello bag. But yeah, just very, very simple cards. I've got two different sets to share with you. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Make sure to join me. Hey, before I close, uh, I want to let you know that next week is the Creative 8 Stamp Retreat. All online, all super fun. And I know you don't want to miss it because this is a weekend set aside for you to have fun creating uh, with the Creative 8 team. That's Jackie Bolheis, Brandy Cox, Sharon Armstrong, and myself. 
we are going to spend Friday night and all day Saturday stamping with you. We have got incredible projects lined up for you. You're going to have written tutorials that go along with them. And you want to know what the best part is? You don't have to have anything special. The idea of our retreats is for you to use what's already on your stampin' shelf, okay? So you're going to grab your stamps, ink, and paper and create and have a good time. Guys, if you'll go to simplysimplestamping.com, up there in the top, you'll see Creativate Retreats. If you'll click on that, you can read all about it. It is so much fun. And I always ask, if you guys have been to the retreat, be sure to leave a comment. Um, we have so many of you joining. And you know, just like with our lives, it's all about this sense of community and being together. That's the other great thing about the retreats is that we're all just together, chatting, stamping. It is so much fun. It's honestly, it's one of my favorite, favorite times of the year. We do uh, a retreat each season. So this will be our spring retreat and we are very, very excited. That'll be starting next Friday, April 19th. So be sure to get signed up. We don't want you to miss out on the fun. And with that, thank you, Brenda, Christina. I sure do appreciate you guys being here and have a fantastic day. Go create a diagonal split card. Send it to a friend because that's what it's all about. Can't wait to stamp with you guys next time. See ya. Bye-bye.